monocultures. They're not always obvious at first glance, and yet they are there. Intensive agricultural use is causing more and more animal and plant species to disappear. Excessive fertilization leaves no chance for sensitive plant species such as the Siberian iris and the orchid. Robust plants, on the other hand, such as the dandelion, multiply unchecked. These large numbers of dandelion, or also of the sharp buttercup, are clear indications of so-called rich pastures. Rich pastures have a nitrogen content that is clearly too high due to excessive fertilization. Therefore, more and more nitrate gets into our groundwater and pollutes it. In addition, animals have to die due to too early and too frequent harvesting. Every year, up to 100,000 fawns are killed in the spring by harvesting in Germany alone. But also nests of ground breeders like the skylark, as well as countless insects, are destroyed and killed by the mower unit. Those who are not lucky enough to be able to hide in a burrow are caught by the harvester. All that remains is an abandoned green wasteland. We're currently experiencing the greatest extinction of species since the end of the dinosaurs, and agriculture is playing a crucial role in this. Due to the intensification of agriculture, in order to be able to feed our farm animals, the field hamster must also make way. By harvesting corn and grain too early, it cannot build up a winter supply. In addition, increasingly modern machinery harvests even lower to the ground, depriving it of even the last bit of cover from predators. The field hamster is therefore threatened with extinction, and current forecasts show that it will be extinct in 30 years. 52.8% of the agricultural land in Germany is used to feed some of our farm animals. This corresponds to an area of 9.3 million hectares. In addition, we import further feed from abroad to meet our needs for all farm animals, which takes up another 2.4 million hectares. In total, this is more than the area of Austria and Belgium combined. 763 million of these farm animals are slaughtered annually for our consumption in Germany alone. 98% of the meat that goes over the counter in Germany comes from factory farming. But this is not the fault of our farmers. What if we stopped consuming meat and animal products and instead switched to a purely plant-based diet? We could re-naturalize 75% of the world's agricultural land. That's 33 million square kilometers, or in other words, more than three times the size of the European continent. Wildlife would once again have a larger habitat and more space to retreat. But we humans would also have more space again to escape our everyday lives and retreat to enjoy the peace and quiet and recharge our batteries. In addition, we would save an incredible amount of drinking water. Only 0.3% of the water on Earth is fresh water accessible to us. It takes an average of 15,400 liters of water to produce one kilogram of beef. For a kilogram of potatoes, only 290 liters on average. In the coming decades, groundwater will also become increasingly scarce in regions of Germany. 
Above all, uncontaminated groundwater that is free of nitrates. Only in just under one-third of Germany's groundwater can nitrate not yet be detected. 18% on the other hand is already so contaminated that no more drinking water can be obtained from it without further ado. We would also cut 49% of agricultural greenhouse gases worldwide, which is essential to slow down climate change. And we would save the lives of over 760 million animals every year in Germany alone. Globally, it's even over 70 billion land animals every year. So if we all ate a purely plant-based diet, we would not only preserve animal and plant biodiversity, we could also re-naturalize an incredible amount of land worldwide and conserve our most important resource, fresh water, plus save 49% of the world's agricultural greenhouse gases and save over 70 billion lives a year not counting marine life. Maybe it's time to rethink, to look ahead, and to forge new paths. It's not about renunciation, but rather about discovering new things, as well as rediscovering old, long-forgotten things for a more sustainable, livable, better future. <laughs>